Do, do. Hey Ross, where my money makes money. Credit card, everything. I know you're saying this is a big contradiction of everything I stand for and all the things I've been saying, but I had to wait to put this video out. That way, some of you who are great stewards, okay, great managers of your credit and your credit cards, you can fully understand. Credit card, everything. Now, you can reference this video right here where I'm saying fluck credit cards. That's F-L-U-C-K, fluck credit cards. And basically, I'm telling you how bad credit cards can be but that's mostly for people who don't know how to utilize them because I have another video that you can also reference right here talking about how to use your rewards and cashbacks with your credit cards. Now, granted, I'm going to use one of my personal credit cards to tell you credit card everything. It's absolutely a good choice if you are a good manager, if you are a good steward of your finances and most importantly, your credit card. So I have the Capital One Venture One card. Capital One Venture One card. Now, I'm gonna go over it quite briefly here. It says, earn unlimited 1.25 miles per dollar on every purchase, every day, and pay no annual fees. Earn 10 miles per dollar on hotels when you pay with your Venture One card at hotels.com. Fly anywhere, airline, stay at any hotel, anytime, then of course, they give you the 12 month APR, which ranges from 13% to basically 24%. Travel when you want with no blackout dates, no foreign transaction fees. And then most importantly, this is this is the key. This is the kicker. This is the alma mater. Miles won't expire for the life of the account. And there's no limit to how many you can earn. So basically you're trying to ask yourself, is this a great card? Now, when it comes to the APR a year, it's not that great, but you have to hone in. You have to key in. And sometimes you may even have to call or look at your statement to see when is your billing cycle. And a good note for myself, I say, well, the billing cycle is say on the 25th. I want to make sure that my card is zero balance on the 20th. That way I don't forget. And then after the 25th, I can start to accumulate money on that. And then you're saying, well, what are these points? What are these rewards actually used for? You get dollar for dollar when you pay for a hotel or you pay for an airplane ticket. But when you try to get cash back, you have 10,000 miles, which is only 100 points, right? Because we just add in, we're just moving the decimal a couple of places. And so you only have 100 points. And if you want cash back, you get 50% of that back. So you're only getting $50. So in order to make some money, if you're just going to use this for money, then you have to wait till you get like 1 million miles on it but nevertheless this is the thing credit card everything with this particular card they have very very restrictions you can use it to pay your cell phone bill every month you can pay your rent or your mortgage every month you can pay your cable bill every month your internet bill every month your water your electric why am i telling you this because you can accumulate the points in order to accumulate rewards you can accumulate the amount of everything that you want to use it for, especially a service bill. A service bill is a quick way to rack up points, to rack up these miles that are actually points in order to get to whatever goal you want to get to. Like maybe you want to turn this into a gift card, which you can do through the Capital One Venture One Card app. It's not a Venture One Card app. It's just a Capital One credit card app. <laughs> but nevertheless, this is the thing. Credit card, everything. Now, some cards give you what? The Quicksilver card, Capital One, I believe, gives you 2% cash back. And don't key on to Capital One. Key on to what your credit card of the rewards and the points that your card gives you and exploit it for wherever it's worth. Now, this card, in my opinion, I like because I never play the APR rate because I never let that balance carry over into the next billing cycle. And that's the key. You need to find out what's your billing cycle and make sure you have zero balance prior to okay zero balance prior to so you probably want to pay that off like i said five days prior than that but exploit your cars and use your cars for everything and understand the restrictions because some cars say oh you can't use this for mortgage or rent because they know that if your mortgage two thousand dollars and you pay that 12 times a year your points will be skyrocket but what i like about this as long as you have the account your points never expire and they never take them away so this is a quick 
things for you to actually think about using your credit card the way I do in order to get free stuff because they're going to pay me. This is this is a loan that's not a loan. It's a zero interest loan for me. I use it on my service bills and then I pay it right back off once I see it hit my credit card bill so I get those points. Thank you, Capital One. I hope I didn't mess this up for anybody else. <laughs> this is Ross where my money makes money. Exploit your credit cards and the rewards and use them for anything they allow you to. I'm out.